The LLM chart Power BI visual can be obtained either in AppSource or on the bizintelligencechampions.com website like I'm illustrating here. You can take the PBI Viz file that you download and import it into your Power BI report and then drop it on your design surface. You'll need to create an account on bizintelligencechampions.com as I've illustrated here. With your free trial, you can get a organizational license key that you can use to try out the product. And you'll take the license key information and paste it into the visual as I'm illustrating here. Next, I'm gonna import some sample data to use as part of the demo. And I'm picking some fields from the semantic model that I know will be of interest. And once I click generate, I get my first report version. And now I can go in and make a few settings changes. And one of the things that I can do here is I'm gonna create a category called other for anything past top five. And I'm gonna try and regenerate the chart. And we can see I get, I get a different chart type and there is actually another category showing. Next, I'm gonna click on the chart surface to bring up the information panel. Notice that different chart types are available, uh, which are considered suggested chart types. I'm gonna pick heat map and generate from that. And sure enough, I get a heat map. Here's where it gets interesting. I'm gonna make a prompt to the chart to change how it sorts. And sure enough, it does exactly what I asked it to do. For my next prompt, I'm actually gonna try and change how the data is grouped. I'm gonna ask it to group hours in groups of three, so I'll get fewer squares. We're on a roll. Let's ask for another prompt here. Let's add the average temperature as a data label within each square. This did what I wanted, but the dark text isn't good against the dark backgrounds. So I'm gonna make a suggestion to change the coloring related to that. And it does a nice job with the coloring. Now it's important to note that versions exist on everything that I've done so far. So if I wanna revert back to a previous version, I just change the version number, and now I'm back to the previous version. Starting from here, Let's do a different prompt. Let's ask the chart to add the energy usage as the data label. And now you can see I can flip between versions and the numbers on the left are changing between temperature and the energy usage. This version history is accessible on the website. You can go and do a history search and see exactly what you've done and how versions progressed over time. There's a lot of additional material that I have not covered here, talking about specific model settings, talking about things like privacy levels, and the fact that there is a sample file that you can download from the website as well. Come see at bizintelligencechampions.com.